Hey there, welcome back. I wanted to do a quick kind of random video talking about some of the stuff on my handlebars. And here I've got the commuter that I'm using right now, and it's got a lot of stuff going on. So I'm just gonna go over what I have on there and I'm gonna rearrange some of it so that I can fit on a front basket. I'm pretty excited about this. So here we go. So I feel like a pretty common issue with uh, setting up a commuter is that you only have so much handlebar space. So I have a couple of things going on here. I don't usually use a Garmin mount, by the way. This was just put on for a ride recently where I was doing some Strava art. So I don't normally have that on there. That's pretty easy to take off. I do like having a really streamlined bell. It's kind of small and compact, so it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. My quad lock I have on my stem. You can also um, do a phone mount that goes out. Um, I really like the quad lock because I can take my phone off and on with one hand. And once you get used to it, it is a great uh, mount in my opinion. I'll do a separate video talking more about specifics on that. But for the purposes of this video, I wanted to talk about, I guess mostly my light is the main thing I'm gonna move here. So I have this night Rider, it slides on and off, which is nice for charging. And I have it mounted to this thing, which I found at my local bike shop. And I will link to it. I don't even know what you call these, but basically it replicates a handlebar and you just need an Allen bolt um, mount. You can tell my bike is dirty because my hand is already getting dirty. I'm gonna move this thing down here because it's in the way um, of this basket sitting flush on my front rack. So you're gonna want to look on your bike and see if you have any other mount points or your other option would be to put it on a rack. So you would need you know, a place that basically holds this little Allen bolt just the same as like what holds on your water bottle cage. And that is going to give you a little bit more space. I'm gonna stop, move this down, and then show you what I mean. So I took it off right here just to show you. I'm a little clumsy with my left hand, sorry. So all it is is that little Allen bolt that you can get with any multi-tool and you just bolt it in. And that is going to give me a little bit more handlebar space. So I removed the bolt that was in there, and now I'm just tightening this down. By the way, I'm using an ice tool swivel head wrench. I really love this thing. You can tell how much I've used it. You get like really good leverage with it, and I just really, really like it. They're kind of hard to find, but if I can find one, I will link it this as well. But anyway, now I've got this little thing. And since this light mount is designed, like most are, to go on a handlebar, I can just put it right on here, tighten it down. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but I'm making it work. And as a side note, if you didn't have a mount point like this, and you just had like a fork with no bolt point right there, you certainly could put your light on the fork Inside, you could use part of an old tube or you could use grips that kind of come with your light mount. And make sure it's really, really tight on your fork because what you don't want is any slipping, sliding, like the light going into your wheel. And you also just don't want it to mess up the angle of your light. Personally, I just really love having something that's parallel to my handlebars because this is what the light is really designed to mount onto. So you're gonna get that wider angle with a light like this when your light is shining on the ground and it's hopefully not gonna hit your rack or your wheel and cast like a weird shadow and stuff like that as you're riding. So you're just gonna get like the best light and the best light angle. And for whatever reason, people ask me why I put my light upside down. I don't know why. I just, I guess I like the angle. I like that it, feels a little bit more out of the way when my light is hanging down versus pointing over. Um, most people put their light, I didn't tighten this down all the way, so I'm gonna pop it off. Most people put their light like that. You obviously totally can, and then you can reach and see the indicator light button. But I don't know, this is just a weird quirk. I just like to put mine hanging upside down. So now that the light that was right up here is moved down to my fork, 
my rack is free and I can get this basket on nice and flush. So I'm just gonna play around with the positioning. I'm gonna make sure that my shifters don't hit the basket and then I go around the cables and I am just going to zip tie it um, to the rack. Well, that was pretty simple. I just took a bunch of zip ties and zip tied the basket to the rack. This is a Velo orange rack, by the way, and ever since I got this rack on this bike, I've really wanted a basket. Um, so I measured, and I've been looking for secondhand, could not find one for months. I finally just broke down, and I bought this from Walmart, which I hate, but I was out of patience. So I'm excited to have a nice utilitarian, but still kind of cute basket on the front, and I'm gonna take it out and see how she does. Okay, well, I made it to one of our favorite places, Mountain Goat, and this held up great. Um, it's really bothering me that it's a little crooked, but it's secure, and the shifting was great, and I just, I love that I can just, like, throw my helmet and gloves in here um, wherever I'm at a place where I'm not worried about anyone messing with my stuff. I can put trash in here if I'm picking up litter. It's just going to be super super handy. I'm very excited about this. So aside from wanting to make a few little tweaks to the rack to try to get this a little bit straighter, um, I'm really happy with my light angle for night riding. This worked out really well and I'm just excited to have a front basket. So there you have it. So I've ridden with this basket for a few days now and I just wanted to show how I have picked up some trash and I can either use an old plastic bag or a reusable bag that then I can throw in the wash. I just kind of tie it shut and that helps things from flying out. Although if I'm going at low speeds, I find I don't really need a bag, but it's nice to have. So I posted one picture of my bike basket full of groceries on my Instagram the other day, and I had a lot of questions um, about it. A lot of people were curious about it. So I thought of a couple more things I wanted to add to this video, and then I'll finally publish it. But um, I added this little bungee to the basket, just in case I have something maybe big in here that then I could secure. I might add another one of these. I like these bungees because they're really small and easy to use with this particular basket. I also wanted to mention that there are a lot of great basket options by bike basket manufacturers. The reason that I got this basket and zip tied it on is because I already had this rack and I really like the rack. So for me, I just wanted a permanent basket. There are a lot of great bike basket options out there. Basil is one, I will link them down below, but What's great about a lot of bike baskets is that you'll actually get a mounting piece that will go on your handlebars, and then the basket will come on and off of that. And then the basket might have a built-in lid, or it might have like a drawstring top. There are so many options. Definitely look and check out there, and just consider if you want something that lifts on and off. I knew I just wanted something to live here, but I know that's not an option that works for everybody. Just happens to be a good fit for me. Lastly, just want to say I really wish I had been able to find this second hand because of the width of my drop bars and knowing exactly what size I wanted and also knowing that I wanted fairly small uh, squares here because I don't want to have to worry about lining this basket every time I use it um, and I didn't want to worry about things falling through. So Based on all of that, I did find the right basket, but hopefully if you go this route, you get lucky and can find some cool, real vintage basket. That would just be creme de la creme. So I think that's it and I can finally post this video. Let me know what I forgot. I'm sure there was something. And one of my next videos, I'll hopefully be able to give you a tour of the bike room. So stay tuned.